All right, guys, I've got a real treat for you today. It is your buddy Keith, and I am live again in the control room just outside London in England at Essex Recording Studios. I've got uh, a very rare guitar from my favorite brand, Jackson. This is an original SC1 Surfcaster. Very rare. This is the top, top spec Japanese model with the cut out with binding around the cut out the features on this are super expensive world class and not seen in this day and age beautiful mother of pearl shark fin inlays that really pop normally you just get acrylic on uh the imports and the japanese guitars but not on the really really high-end ones if you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe. We're going to hang out and look at some beautiful guitars together. That's what we do, guys. About 7,000 of us in our community, and we're growing bigger and better every day. We will be doing lots of demos very soon. It's all in the works. But I've been very busy putting together this amazing recording studio in what was 17 different radio stations in this complex. This is a huge compound we took over right before coronavirus. And, uh, yeah, I've had my hands full for a bit. So sorry about the lack of demos, but I do love showing you up close details of very rare guitars. So you can compare ones that you might have at your local guitar shop or in your country that you're looking at online. Um, or just to enjoy. Yeah. I mean, look at the wood grain on this. These are super rare. You usually see the Charvel surf casters with this spec uh there's one artist specifically that made this guitar relatively well known in its day and that is robert plant the singer for led zeppelin when he had his solo act in the 90s this is the model that he was endorsed with and we actually had one that he owned and signed and gave away in a contest for guitarist magazine years ago here in the UK, which is really cool. On the back here, again, you see the wood grain in detail. The spotlight is like directly over this thing, so it's creating a bit of a haze in the lacquer. But uh, absolutely beautiful. Very, very minor uh, I guess you would call it, it's not even really rash. If, if you get the light directly over it, it looks extreme, but in real life, um, it doesn't look like anything. But anyway, nice little contour here. You've got your Jackson logo, 96, and Made in Japan sticker. And a beautiful neck. It's got some bird's eye action going on. A little bit of light figuring. And then you've got a scarf joint with vintage style tuners. Very unique guitar for Jackson. Original hang tag too. Great color. Beautiful style. I think I just heard the volume knob or tone knob needs to get tightened. I did. And, you know, for a guitar that's normally associated with a metal community, this is still something that, uh, it's got aggressive lines. Like, so obviously you've got the, uh, shark fin inlays, which are a throwback to its metal heritage. You've got some sharp angles here, like at the end of the fretboard, sharp angles on the cutout. But at the same time, you've got... Your lipstick pickup there. I can't remember which Duncan this is. I'll have to look it up. You guys can Google it. SC1 Jackson Surfcaster. And then the Wilkinson Tremolo. So you got some different tonal options. Of course, you can throw in your favorite pickups and really get whatever kind of tone, aggression, or warmth that you're going for for your personal taste. But, like, think of this on stage. This pops and if it's a little bit too out of genre for you i would say 
throw some black hardware on it and like uh, a flat black or an anodized pick guard and then some black tuners and you're really you've really got something unique that no one else has and that could definitely be appropriate in any sort of metal environment already this would be totally fine for hard rock and a lot of people like to go against the grain and use something unsuspecting i love it when they do that it's always a little bit of a thrill but yeah guys a genuine jackson not gonna see one of these every day and you're definitely not gonna see one in this condition just trying to bring the lighting there so you can see those inlays really pop i think you have a really good idea of what these look like in person so i'm gonna get going you can compare it we had the lesser spec surf caster not all that long ago, I think it was a couple years ago, that we used to record on a record for a band called Pinup, who are now called The Small Black Flowers. So check them out, The Small Black Flowers on Spotify, and you can hear what these sound like. Great, great guitars. All right, dudes, I gotta get going. It's super late. It's been a real long day. We had an artist in, Naomi Banks, today. She sounded brilliant on vocals. We were using the Chandler Red mic. You can probably see it still glowing back there it's a super expensive mic and you can kind of you can see the glow through the glass but otherwise you're just seeing all reflection but uh man that sounded so good we just got these atomic 610 monitors in from our friends at atomic instrument company in detroit they're sounding brilliant we're not giving up on our barefoots we just need more stands that's it so yeah guys long day I'm out of here. If you want to buy this, go on Reverb.com, type in Jackson SC1 or Jackson Surfcaster. You'll see this. Go to our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. You'll see it up there. Or hit me up on Facebook. It's at Essex Recording Studios. Uh, Instagram, same thing. Twitter, it's at Essex Recording. Hit us up on any of the socials, guys. We'll always talk to you. I do take trades and I do ship to any country in the world. Can't beat that. Leave some comments, leave some love, and I will be back with more guitars very soon. I'm thinking of what's coming up next. I think we've got some ESP Explorers. We've got a few of them that have been hanging out for a while. And uh, it's a long time coming. Just haven't gotten around to doing pictures and videos of them for you. So I'll probably start with the white one and then make our way forward. Yes! All right, have a great day, night, weekend, whenever it is you're watching this, and uh, I'll see you soon with more guitars. Later, dudes.